In this video, we're gonna take this coffee product review SharePoint list and build an MCP server around it using Azure API Center and Azure Logic Apps. Let's go check it out. We're gonna start in API Center. We're gonna head down to the Discovery tab and then click on MCP Preview. From there, we're gonna be able to select the Register button from the Logic Apps tile. Now, we do need to select an empty Logic Apps standard instance, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, followed by adding our SharePoint connector. So we can go ahead and find our SharePoint connector simply by searching for it. And sure enough, there it is. Now we can go ahead and find the actions that we are interested in. So SharePoint has a lot of operations here, actions that we can leverage, but let's go ahead and search. So we can go ahead and create an item and that will simplify finding it. And then also we want to go ahead and do a get items as well. So this will allow us to get existing items and also create new ones. Let's go ahead and click next. Now, if we didn't have a connection, we'd have the opportunity to go create one, but I'm gonna leverage one that I already have in this Logic app. So now what we need to do is just configure our different tools. So we've got the create item that does need some additional setup. So let's go ahead and click on the edit icon. If we want to update the tool description, we can certainly go ahead and do that. Now I've gone ahead and updated mine because it's gonna be a pretty generic description based upon the API spec for the SharePoint connector. But in this case, the business context is I'm gonna create a new product review. So we're gonna go ahead and, and reflect that. Now there's a couple things we need to do. Obviously we want our product reviews to land in a specific SharePoint list. So we need to go ahead and configure that. So we need to go ahead and select our SharePoint site followed by the name of our list. From there, once again, since we're doing an insert or a create, there's different columns or properties that we wanna go ahead and submit. So we're gonna go ahead and select customer name, email address, feedback, and product name. And from there, those can all be provided by the model because as we're having a conversation with the user, we want those values to be passed in. So let's go ahead and save changes. Now, even though the get items here says configured, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, I think it makes sense to also update this description. So let's do that. So we'll update the description to reflect getting product reviews. And then we also need to go ahead and configure the site and listening. Okay, I've gone ahead and done that. Now, because we're doing basically a retrieval, uh, I don't need to select any of these properties here. If I really wanted to filter, I could do that, but we don't have a huge number of items, so we'll just leave that as default. So we'll go ahead and click Save, and now we're ready to go ahead and register our MCP server. So what's happening under the hood is we've got some tools or workflows being created in our Logic app, and then we're gonna go ahead and register our MCP server in API Center so that it can actually go ahead and be discovered by any developers looking to go ahead and use this. Now, one thing, when you do go into the API section, you should now see SharePoint. And it's always a good idea to go ahead and update this. Once again, it's gonna be very generic. So you can go ahead and edit this as you see fit. And I think that's just a good practice. I've gone ahead and just called mine MCP demo, SharePoint coffee product review. And if we then head over to our API Center portal, which we can access from the settings menu, then clicking on this link, uh, we should see it shown up here. Now we do need to sign in and we can go ahead and do that using our credentials. From there, we should see, sure enough, MC, MCP demo, SharePoint coffee product review. And if we scroll down here, we should be able to get the URL that we can then use inside of VS Code or another agent. Now to add our MCP server, we'd hit the view button followed by command palette, MCP add server, select HTTP, provide our URL, and then provide a user-friendly name for our MCP server. I'm gonna call mine SharePoint product feedback and then go ahead and hit enter to complete this process. Now we'll see this added to our mcp.json file and we can now go ahead and start it. Now you should get prompted for authentication at this point. I've already gone through this process, but just follow the prompts and you should be good from that perspective. Also, if you wanna verify what MCP servers and tools you have enabled, click on the tool icon here, then you can search. I'll just call it search for SharePoint and we can see that we've got two tools that are available for us and those descriptions, which are pretty important. And that's why 
you should override those defaults when you're going through the API Center experience. Okay, so now we can go ahead and uh, interact with our MCP server. So I'm just gonna start uh, in GitHub Copilot here. I am in agent mode and I've chosen Claude Sonnet as my model, but you know, use whichever model you prefer. So here I can just ask for uh, coffee product reviews. So our agent has discovered that we've got a tool that can help us with this. We're gonna click on the allow button and we should see some product review items coming back from that call. All right, so we can see them being streamed across here. So we've got some medium blend and espresso and dark roast. What's interesting is that there is no rating system in our SharePoint list, but this is how the model has interpreted the feedback itself. So in this case, we see medium blend as two stars. And part of the problem is that this particular customer is saying that the product's never available, so it's really frustrating. But we can also see we've got some five-star reviews where people enjoy the taste of the medium blend and um, the espresso, they love the packaging. It's very retro. Now, this is, this is kind of cool, so it's kind of interesting how it's, it's summarized and actually gone ahead and provided some insights around those particular product reviews. Obviously, you could take this, this further if you had larger data set. You could go ahead and, oh, I'm interested in just show me all the reviews for Espresso or show me all the reviews this past week for Espresso. And you can actually go much further than the purposes of this demo. But let's now show the other operation or the other tool that we can go ahead and call. And that is going to be able to create a product review. So let's issue a prompt of, uh, of let's create a product review. Now, so what it's, it's going to suggest here is some specific values here, but it's all automatically populated that for us. So we could click allow, that would work, but that isn't us or quite what we want to do here. So I'm going to say, I want to provide my own inputs. Okay, perfect. This is what we want, right? So now it's giving me an idea of the name of the inputs that I need to go ahead and provide. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm just going to add one that reflects the blend of espresso. The customer's name is Barb Jones. Her email address is barb.jones at contoso.com. And the, the feedback is the taste of the espresso beans are incredible. Just love this product. So we'll go ahead and hit the submit button here. And now what it's gone ahead and is pre-populated basically a request for us based upon the information that we had provided before. So we'll go ahead and click allow. And you know, this has successfully been created. I like how Claude will add these different little icons and stuff, which is nice. And um, because it is a, you know, this is related to taste, you know, it's automatically populated the category for taste as well. Let's just double check and make sure that this landed in SharePoint and that uh, there's no hallucinations going on. And sure enough, we do see that we've got the review from Barb Jones in our SharePoint list. So that concludes this demo of building a SharePoint MCP server using API Center.